Hey, what's up? Everybody, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. We're going to cut to, straight to the chase today. Um, I'm going to make a statement that's going to make everybody rich. Now, if you listen carefully, you'll understand why. If you lie to the people that want to be lied to, you can become rich. Alex, what do you think about just that statement to, in general? It's all facts. That's what I said. <laughs> Look, I'm a I'm a good boy. Okay. I grew up, you tell the truth. All right. And you know, you you build, you 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 be the nice person, everyone likes you and all that. But honestly, um it, it's that's true. If you lie to the people that want to be lied to, because people they just want to hear what they want to hear. And it's it's a job in itself trying to tell people what's best for them, but they don't want to hear it because you're going to, if you do that, you're going to be trying to convince them and all this stuff. People just don't care. So if you can come up with the lie that they want to hear, I think you can use that to your advantage. If you're selling a product and you have something to say, go ahead. Go ahead. I was, I'm going to say, I remember when we first met, and uh, we were sitting there at the restaurant, and uh, I, I told you, I said, Alex, in this game of personal finance, you have to be prepared to fail. Not you personally in finance, but you being highly motivated, excited about it, and want to share it with the world. You have to be prepared to fail. Out of the 100 people that you talk to, maybe one will listen. And the reason why only one will listen is because they want to hear that there's a lottery way to get rid. They want to hear that it's a shortcut to build wealth. They want to hear that you should blow the bag every time you get a paycheck. They want to hear that everything is so easy that you can give them the shortcut step by step by step by step. And they can go from zero to a million dollars tomorrow. And I mean, literally tomorrow. So when you tell them the truth, wealth takes dedication, discipline, time, continue learning. I'll say that again. Discipline, dedication, time, and continue learning. When you tell them that, it's against everything that they want to believe. And I'll give you a, a simple example. If you search social media, everybody that say it's easy or they're being flashy and saying, oh, it's easy to do this. This is how you can get rich quick. They have so many, they have so many sub viewers because people want to be lied to. But then you get the people, you get the people uh, that's hardcore. I'll give you one example. One rental at a time. I love the channel because they tell you the honest process of what it's going to do. They tell you when you get into rental properties, that first five years is going to suck. But then if you can make it through the grind of that first five years, then you see the light at the end of the tunnel. Then you start seeing, you know, money coming in in droves. And that is the truth. When I bought my first rental property, I saw the cash flow from that was like 300 bucks. And I was paying cash and it was only like 300 bucks. So I was like, what the hell? But then I just kept the grind going. And then I start learning the processes. That first five years was like, what the hell? And then it started growing and growing and growing. It took me about three years, but still, that first five years, I was ready. That first five years to just keep grinding, 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 grinding. But then now that I have so many units and so many properties, somebody with none that's barely got their own house, oh, man, how do I get that many? How about get one? How about start at one? How about the pro? Oh, no, I want to get from where I'm at now to where you at tomorrow. There is no shortcut. And people want to be lied to all the time. That's like the people, the crash bro videos. People say, oh, the market's going to crash. And now they got all these people standing on the sideline thinking that the house prices are going to crash like 08. Because they want to be lied to. The truth is, if you do the research, they don't, the slot, supply and demand don't add up to the prices crashing. It the, the supply demand adds up to transactions crashing, meaning it won't be that many people buying and selling homes, but not the price. So, again, I'm saying this to the audience. If you want to make a lot of money, lie to people. That's how you do it. 
Whatever you do, just lie to people. And that's and that's why it is. That's why you won't ever hear us saying that, oh, it's a quick way to do stuff. It's a grind. Again, I'm going to say it for the third time. Dedication, discipline, time, and continue learning. That is how it's done. I look what you got. I agree. This whole time I was trying to think of uh, someone who listened. <laughs> I can't I can't think of one. I, I know a couple people that listen for about a week and then that was it <laughs> you know people and i i know several people that have the same mentality they you know i tell them what i do they're still trying to figure out how to get rich quick and they're you know i tell them i invest in stocks they're over there trading penny stocks i don't do that or they're trying to ride all the the bull waves with the um you know the game yeah. stocks and amc game stocks yeah it it that stuff I I don't I don't deal with it. I just my thing is I know if I'm patient enough and I just put in the work right now, I know in five, 10, 15 years I'll have more and more and more and more. As long as I keep my eyes focused on the future and I know what I'll achieve then, that's all I'm worried about. Just doing the work right now to then get to that point. I'm not gonna risk trying to get it all at once because I know that the probability of achieving that is next to nothing so you know majority of people they you know they don't listen they don't want to listen and uh you know the curb to your point it, it's true to anyone out there that is listening to this and they're starting a financial journey and they want to share it with people no one gives a shit <laughs> it's just it's true I, I i thought of so many people that would probably care and they don't they, not at all you know I try to be the nice guy trying to tell them and show them what I was doing, thinking, you know, because, oh, I know this person for this many years that they, they don't they don't care at all. But when you get to the point where you're starting to accumulate assets, then they're like, oh, how can you show me now? Like you didn't care when, you know, when I was first starting, when I had nothing. But now you want to you think that you can just jump from there to here like like nothing. It doesn't it doesn't work that way. And it's all about, and again, it's not about getting rich quick. It's about getting rich for sure. Literally, last night, I got a phone call from somebody. And they said, and, you know, and I was in the military. He was like, he was like, man, I remember when, when I was in Afghanistan and you would send me books, you know, you would send me books and stuff to read, talking about how you're going to get on this journey or we was in Iraq, I can't remember, and how you sent me uh, books on you know the stuff that you're going to do and he said man if i would have got on it right when you did i think about it and i kick myself every day we could be at the same place now but he's still at square zero and this is 15 to 20 years later he's still at square zero and he's just kicking himself like oh but then of course the question the next thing is is okay what do i need to do to get there but the thing is they won't put in the time the dedication and the continued learning. Every day I'm learning about something. I'm consuming some content. I mean, one rental at a time. You know, Graham Stephan, really older Graham Stephan. Uh, Mimosi, uh Cody Sanchez. I'm, a, I'm getting content and getting information. It ain't about reading a book. It's about getting information from people that's doing better than you to give you nuggets to continue to add building blocks to your life. And that's the thing people don't want to do. They don't want to go through the grind. They want they want that express pass that's not out there. And that's why the people that's lying to people, like you've seen all these cryptocurrencies uh, going under and then you're seeing all these celebrities getting sued. Because people want to be lied to. Now you get lied to, you believe the lie, and then now, oh, let's go sue them. But the people that have true wealth is telling you it takes time, discipline, dedication, continue learning, and you keep looking for the quick way to get there. There is no quick way to wealth. I'll say it again. There is no quick way to wealth. It's not about getting rich quick. It's about getting rich for sure. And it takes time to do that. I would add on to that too. I haven't realized how important it is well i mean obviously i realized it but i'm realizing it more now the importance of just doing it just executing 
is goes a long, long way. A lot of people, they just don't want to do that. They just want to make excuses. They want to come up with every reason why they can't do something or, you know, anything that just holds them back. If you just do it, you're doing it. You know what I mean? Like, and I see that so much, like people discussing something and the whole thing they're lacking is just, they're just not doing it. Like they're talking about it and talking about it. It's like, all right, when are you going to do it? Like, you know, no one can make you do it. You have to do it yourself. And Dan Pena says it the best. You don't have to be intelligent. He talks about it all the time. These meatheads making $70 million, you know, after a year or whatever, creating their business. But mm -hmm. it, you know, it just takes execution. His point is these meatheads are making, or, you know, they're doing, they're executing, they're doing the work. They're not making excuses. Not you know, he's probably holding yeah. them at some point, but... <laughs> But they're, they're doing it, you know, so, but. Yeah. With all that being said, please like, subscribe, comment in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.